What's up, everyone? It's Randy Rage. I got something pretty fun here. Uh, this is called the Winter Project. It's a Seven Days to Die mod, uh, as you can see right here. It's uh, looking pretty sexy. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a new game, um, trying out the the old thing called uh, permadeath and all that stuff. I'm sure it's gonna go terrible. We're gonna go with uh, this is gonna be attempt one of freeze perma permadeath pd1 there we go now i want to try one of these bigger maps so like with this mod it does have its own custom maps and i think usually with the mods those tend to be the ones you want to go with i've been doing a 4k map on my twitch stream and just doing uh, sprint speed on that and I've died several times, so I don't, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna try it. Um, we'll try the 6K map. Um, just here's all the basic settings for it: uh, 60 minutes, uh, normal day length, blood moon. We're gonna go with seven days, and zero day range. And I'll tell us in the morning, just because I might forget. I mean that does happen. <laughs> It has happened many times. We're going to go with the 200% XP multiplier because I like things to happen a little bit faster. Now, I mean, yeah, you're leveling up faster, but you also have the issue of perhaps getting a lot harder zombies a lot faster. So, I mean, you take it with a grain of salt. And then here we go with the damage, all this stuff uh, looking good. 10-day uh, respawn. I mean, I don't, I don't usually go back to somewhere. Uh, I'm going to do 32 enemies for the Blood Moon count. I would do 64, but I feel like 32 is a good number because 64, they get kind of kind of confused. Um, Three-day airdrop will mark it. And then I usually just crank these up just so if I don't come back to a game right away, nothing's decayed on me. And it's just going to be me, so whatever. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire it up. So now if you haven't heard of this project, what it is is everything is covered in snow. I don't know if there's another zone besides forest. I haven't dug down in very many spots. And buildings are covered up. It's super great. Oh, I just noticed something. I need to move here. This You won't be able to see that. Okay. And... It makes it really hard to do a quest to figure out which POI you, you're coming to, it, just everything. And and also it's got a nice little intro video here, which I'm probably just going to skip. Uh, yep, here it goes. So I think this is actually from the beginning trailer. I guess we could watch it. Let's go ahead. Right, so there we are. Now we got Welcome to the Winter Project. Just explore and try to survive in the frozen landscape of the Winter Project. Spherian Zythe. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing those names right, and I apologize if I did not. So, here we go. So we start out. Um, not much to really show here. Good job, Survivor. You have proved to be capable with much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. There you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. Welcome aboard, Noah. I guess Noah is the person that wrote it or something. So uh, you start out with like a lot of the, the same standard stuff. We do have a little bit of clothing. That's really good. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. Uh, let's put that there. So food and drink does freeze. As you see, it's got these little bars here. And let's see, this is just a normal thing. We'll just scrap that. We've got this uh, awesome shovel, and it is red, which is perfect. And keeping the torch out is really good. Once we lose our uh, starting coat here, we will take a lot of uh, cold damage. Um, there are a lot of interesting animals. 
and things to stay away from. Um, I find the best thing to do right now is try to find some wood, some easy wood, and some plant fibers and get a stone axe. Uh, okay, there's a rabbit. So like right here, got a little bit of wood. Uh, let's see, stone axe crafted up. Let's put everything in its place. Get that down on the bar. I'm not really sure what skills I want to go in with this one. In the last playthrough I was doing... Oops. There we go. I was doing more of a spear thing and then I decided eh, I don't really like that too much. It's working alright, but I think with nightmare speed it could be a little bit more of an issue. You run out of stamina really fast. Um, let's see, we need to go this way. Uh, we need to find more wood. Um, so trees are a bit of an issue. There, it's got kind of a Christmas theme. It did not come out on Christmas time, but I believe it was intended to, and they must have just been a little delayed. So, it, it, I mean, it's, it adds a nice little touch, but there are some bad things. Some of these trees will make you throw up. Some will heat you up, which is nice. I'm not sure why the ones make you throw up. I tend to break those, by the way, in case you're wondering, because you get a little bit extra feathers. All right, so here's a tree we can chop. Let's go ahead and get that wood. All about that wood. All right. So we got that. Now I think I will go ahead and make a spear for early on. Um, and like you do start with the 20 iron arrows, which is super awesome. Uh, let's see, spear. What am I missing? Some more stones. Okay. We can get that. I have like a, a super, super nice trick for this map, which we'll be going into here in a little bit. We don't really need snowballs, we'll get plenty down the road. And you actually don't get any points until you get to the trader. So let's go ahead and actually make this active. So we're 600 and some away. All right. And it looks like this is not a town that we're traversing right now. Uh, as you can see with the map, to show you a little bit. And doesn't that look cool? Like how everything's just hidden. Now, if you know the POIs really well, it can be really beneficial. Some of those that have the loot right on top, you can just sneak up there, grab it really quick. No one even knows you're there. Maybe you'll fight like one or two zombies. It's awesome. That's the way to go. Okay. A little bit more of that easy wood. Looking for bird's nests. We're going to start seeing zombies here pretty soon. So far we've been lucky. Now in a normal game, especially in nightmare permadeath type settings, I like to just stay in my starting spot for a while and gather a lot of resources so that zombies don't start spawning on me. But <laughs> as you can see, there there is not much. There's not much at all. And there is another thing, uh, one of the big changes with this one is zombies. Uh, every zombie has a chance to be a walker or a crawler or a spider. And they, they all have like kind of a different... Oh, and then we've already seen a shark. That's a snow shark there. We do not want to fight that. And there's a wolf. Um, Alright, well, let's see. we got to stay away from... There's another animal. So the shark <laughs> is super crazy. And it even makes that little donut donut sound when you get close. I don't recommend getting close unless you have a... A gun or something. They have like a thousand hit points. Okay, let's get this crafted up. Get those on the bar. I never did load this up. Let's do that too. Oh man. So I'm kind of thinking this would be a, a play series, by the way. And um, this first little bit, I want to I want to have them be about 20 to 30 minutes long. So this first little bit might just be trying to figure out how to get to the trader, which I have found to be a difficult part when stuff starts spawning like this. 
Animals are a plenty. Zombies are a plenty. There's some really terrible zombies out there. Okay, he's not gonna attack. I wasn't sure. And what is that? Okay, that's new. I have not seen that thing before. Uh, <laughs> I think I want to stay away from that as well. Hmm. Okay. It does look like he's moving away. We might have a snowman to deal with and a wolf. We see, now some of these special things do special things that are not very easy to avoid. This might be a really short playthrough. <laughs> Because <laughs> so we got a shark over there, we got a wolf. We got that. And that thing. Um okay, you know what we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna cheese it a little bit. Yeah, this is something you gotta do early on sometimes to get a good start. You just gotta make it happen. Cause like we haven't spent any points yet because we don't have any. So I can't even hit this wolf from here. <laughs> Just wasted all the arrows. Nice. So now that should have hit, right? Nope. I don't think I'm going to have any arrows left by the time this is done. <laughs> oh, man. Need a better bow. Okay. Let's see. He's got 206... Okay, now you're blocking my spear. He's not really attacking too much, which is nice. Okay, let's get this repaired while we're waiting on stamina. Yeah, stamina is a bit of an issue early. Okay. See, there's a crawler there. Crawlers aren't bad. Um, okay. Let's get this meat. We'll get enough bones to make a bone knife here. Okay, and then we we'll go over here. Bone knife. So I remember when they used to be called the, the bone shiv. I kind of wonder why they changed that. I don't really mind that name. It seemed to work. But, eh, you know, things change. You gotta adapt or whatever. Not that I like adapting to change. Sometimes you just got to, I guess. All right, we're going to put that there in case we need to fall back on it. I don't have enough wood to repair it now. Oh, shoot. Okay, no shark. Over here. More of these feathers. It actually takes three feathers to make an arrow instead of the standard one. You can, however, make arrows out of plastic. I don't remember if you can make the stone ones out of plastic or not, but the iron for sure, which is really handy, and that's just a one-to-one -one ratio. And that thing, I really want to know what that thing is. But I'm not going to investigate it. And here's a storm. I did recently discover you can attack those and kill them. Oh, we're going to get this zombie probably. Maybe not. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's continue to get some of these along the way. Oh no, it's a bone snake. And they're they're terrible too. I I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> they take a lot to kill. A lot. They're just really hard to hit. You'll, you'll do like one one glancing bit of damage to it, it seems, on the regular. Okay, here's some wood, right? Okay, we're up to five. Nice. Resources are are tough. Until you get established. Alright, so we got a big mama. Got a zombie over there. An animal. 
would be the best option here. Probably take out this zombie, right? Take out this zombie and then we'll deal with that one. I don't know if this one moves really fast or not. We'll find out. Okay. Did like hardly any damage. And then we just do the running thing. Okay. Yep, see they're really really crafty these zombies. Good, good. Alright, now we're gonna wait for stamina and then we're gonna hit this big mama. I don't really know what the technical terms for all these zombies are, so I just kinda make up my own. Like the big big ladies, they call them big mamas. We got like the skater punks. This is just a, a zombie dude. I think she should be fairly slow as well, unless she starts enraging. Let's go ahead and get a stealth attack in. Oh, we got like a little seal. And we'll go ahead and get a, a stealth attack in. There, we did it. I wasn't lying. Come on over. I'm going to take her a minute. And we missed. This is the problem with spears. I'm terrible with them. Uh, if you can get the hits off, you got to throw them, though, obviously. They, they don't do jack if you don't. But you get the hit off, you get a stun. Good, good amount of damage. Works wonderfully. Okay, so now here... Is our trader right down there? Now, the trader you can actually build at. Like if anyone's played Darkness Falls before, it's a lot like that. Um, I don't really want to put the hole right there, so I think I'm gonna dig over here a little bit with my, my handy shovel. Trying to make it so I can get in and out easily. that seems pretty good we'll drop that for now we'll break in oh wow working chem station that's really nice um, let's go ahead and let's make a door if I can for wood oh that's that's rough and I want it to be there proper opening. That, that should attract the zombies to go that way, I hope. And then we're going to go ahead and loot around here a little bit. We're going to have to dig to the trader from here. Search here. We got some stuff to sell. Oh, Christmas gift. And some acid. Look at there. And you can't actually search these. Some of them. Not all of them. A little bit of cloth, that's pretty handy. We got some coffee beans and some lead. Empty cans, no cooking pot, okay. That's all right. Because we have a working forge, hooray. I was not sure if that would be the case. All right, now we're gonna dig over here. So, I'm probably going to just make my home here. I'm just listening very carefully for zombies. Doesn't that sound like one's up top? A little bit of protection from this the snow. How handy. Okay, that's not enough. Uh, let's just go ahead, take a little bit more out here. A 
I'll get rid of that. All right, here we go. Okay, now there's something else I noticed. I can loot these shelves. Look at that. Some ammo, nice. Glue is also super nice. Oh, plastic Legos. I guess when we get bored, we'll have something to play with. Some frozen food. All right. Good. Some nails, that'll be handy. Probably just melt them into the forge for some iron. I'm not really, ooh, not really sure how you're supposed to find an iron mine in this. I don't know if it has the nodes like in standard 18. Okay, so let's get a job. Let's do whatever's closest buried supplies, 320. And then let's check the inventory. Let's hope for a gun. A wooden bow, that's not bad. Okay, so we have an AK right here. This double pocket mod, that would be good. Buying the books might not be bad. Great heist. 10% more jewelry and precious gems, that's good. Clothing, puffer jacket please, no. We do have a sweatshirt, probably gonna have to buy that. Okay. Uh, also, another thing I like to do is buy a ooh, helmet light mod and a magazine extender. We are going to buy all of this. We got till day four to buy it, but uh, no AK ammo. There is an AK, but only AP ammo, which I was really hoping for not to be the case because we don't have a pistol. There is pistol ammo. I'm probably going to buy all of that too, though, for when we do. And this wooden bow, probably going to buy it. So we need... A whole lot of dukes. And right now you're probably saying, well, Randu, it's I got better things to do than day one. Like to you. How are you ever going to get all of these dukes? I have a really cheesy way. Um, I, I don't think it was intended. In fact, I know it was not. Uh, Sphere has stopped by my streams a few times and while well, I've been playing this mod and I asked him about it, I said, so is this intended, you know? And he's like, absolutely not. But we decided to leave it in once we discovered it. And we figure if someone wants to spend all their time doing it, go ahead. And I think it's uh, pretty, pretty needed to do things easily in this mod. I don't know. I don't mind it, actually. Okay, there's a zombie. There's definitely a zombie. So we got ten arrows. We gotta get some wood anyways. Our snake. There's a tree right there. Good. I just wanna make a chest, that's it. Oh maybe it was just the animal. I know there was a zombie somewhere. Oh, it's a nice tree too. Look at that. Nine hundred. Those are rare. Usually you find three hundred and that's it. So we're just going to get this here, make some chests, make a cooking pot, get a little bit of a setup here real quick. Alright, I'm looking for zombies. Nothing? Nothing? Uh, is that one an attack? No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, we're good. Let's go back in. Do the thing. Oh, cloth. We're going to need the cloth and we're going to need the springs and all that stuff if we ever get grenades, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm going to take this here because we like to have it classed up a bit. Let's make a chest and let's make a campfire. I fully support doing multiples of all these because you're going to need it when you're trying to cook food you need a lot of a lot of them going it takes a while okay and then this we're gonna put right there okay cooking pot no so we just gotta move it manually that's all right and then we're gonna drop our food I should really do two boxes but I'm just gonna do one for now 
We'll just drop everything except for this stone I'm going to keep. Oh, we need to plant this like right away. Okay, so I'm not hungry yet. I'm going to wait on doing anything with All right. Um, okay. So we probably need to find some stones to make more arrows and also like make a shovel. But I think before we do that, we're going to go up and do a little bit of mining. So we got to find a place to do that over here. That's perfect. I like to call myself a terrorized miner and what that is is these lovely bluish green blocks you actually get terrorized from them so right here one sells for 20 and you get like 200 of them you're selling them for a lot I suppose if you put some points into the trader you're gonna be making a killing but even just no points in you can buy all of that stuff really quick so I know this part's a little bit boring. I'll probably skip through some of it down the road, but we're just gonna get a little bit here. Show that the the process is amazing. And I think absolutely necessary in this mod to, to continue to survive. Because you need a lot of materials that you just can't find. And hey, if the trader's gonna buy it, why not sell it, right? We're up to 33, 34. We do need to spend our points. I think one into. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, let's go. One into rule one cardio. Super important. Pain tolerance. Very important. We're going to do one into sexual Tyrannosaurus. And the other point, I'm not sure. I don't know what sort of build I want to do yet. We do have the forge. We don't need to worry about that. We need to see if the workbench works. So when we get back to base, we'll, we'll go ahead and dig that out. If we have a working workbench and a working cement mixer, we might be doing pretty good here. We're going to be going through food like crazy until we get better clothing. A sweatshirt is not going to cut it. So putting some into to food and insulation. Although sad to do is kind of a necessity so we're probably going to be doing that with some of these points in fact that's i think what i'm going to do so now finding like a shotgun messiah or some easy shotgun boxes would be really great just so we can hopefully get some ak ammo or a pistol Because we're going to need a lot of guns, I think. I used to do archery a lot, but I find it a little bit more difficult in Alpha 18. So I, I tend to try to go other routes now. Archery can still be fun, but you need a lot of points. Okay, how many have we got? 99. Let's get one more. Still looking good, no zombies. Oh no, snake. Panic! Uh, so panicked. Where? Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh man. That's just a little bit of free bones, right? Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think you just get rotting flesh and bones from these. Yep, four bones, four rotting flesh. A little bit different than the, the old-fashioned snake. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and dig out this here. So I don't really need to dig out too much destroyed. Oh good. Now I know how to make one. And a mixer. Good. Okay, so we got everything 
far we know how to make it. Nice. I like that. Okay, and then let's go over here. Let's do some selling to the trader. Okay, may I see your inventory, sir? Now, did I look at his uh, tools? Where are those? Just a wire tool. Oh, an anvil would be pretty good, but let's go ahead and sell this. So we got 100. We're going to make 2,080 dukes. Boom. It's like that. Now, they do look a little different. I forgot to plant the tree seed. I need to do that. Don't let me forget. Uh, buying some of this would be good. I think I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. Um, let's see. We've got enough to buy this one. And we've also got enough to buy this AK. I think I'm going to buy the AK first. Or would it be better to get the bow? <sighs> I mean, it's not, not like it's hard. We just go back out and terrorize mine, right? Do, do, do. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get some clothing. Uh, some lucky goggles. Those might be nice. Are we done here? Let's see, I don't have anything. Let's go ahead and wear the sweatshirt. We need to make some pants. We need to make a helmet of some sort to put the light mod on, which I'm going to buy that as well. Helmet light mod. We'll go ahead and we'll buy this. We're going to get that AK. Beautiful. And now we're down to a thousand dukes. Oh, the oil, we want that. Gunpowder. He's got gunpowder. Not very much, though. Kind of need to just buy everything, unfortunately. It's a lot of trading. Time okay. to move on. So, once you start buying this stuff here, which this does reset every day, it will start freezing. We got, we got something. Zombie. Zombie. How the heck do I get back up? <laughs> Not sure what kind of zombie we got. Or where it is. I think he's like right here. Yep. A utility worker. This spot right here is a, a very common spot for them to attack in this trader POI. I actually have the same trader in my other game. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. I think it's because I was actually in the trader, so then they think this is the easiest way to get to me. Even though they got to chop through the trader. Okay, and then let's go ahead and plant the seed. And we're going to put you right there. I know it looks like it's grown, but it actually is not. If you were to hit it right now, you would get the seed back. All right. And I think we're already sitting at 30 minutes here, which is about how long I want these to be. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. Uh, probably do a little bit of mining of the terra ice and buying some more of the junk off camera. And then we'll pick back up where we are at that point. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a playthrough of this mod. I'm, I want it to be permadeath, but I don't know if that's going to work. So we're going to kind of play it by ear on that. I uh, appreciate everyone hanging out, checking it out. If you like it, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe, do all the jazz. I also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash randyrage. And I guess that's, that's about it. I need to work on these ending things, so maybe I'll go home and write a script or something. I don't know. I'm already at home, so I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just rambling. And that's it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for tasting the rage, and Randu out.